All right, what I got here is a Mophorn 3600 watt electric demolition hammer, heavy duty concrete breaker, 1800 RPM jackhammer demolition drill with flat chisel, bull point chisel. That's a mouthful, but that's the description on Amazon Prime where I bought this thing. I bought it for 188 bucks. So I uh, took the liberty, I wrestled the, the foam part out of the box. This was the box that shipped me in. It's got a nice little picture on the top. And I didn't figure anyone was interested in watching me wrestle this thing out. I have not opened it yet. I just cut the, the tape holding the lid onto the styrofoam here. So let's see what she's got. Ah, comes with a dust mask. Well, that could be handy with everything that's going on. Comes with uh, some goggles. It says industrial welding goggles. But I, I don't think I'll be welding with these bad boys anytime soon. Um, boy, a parts kit. It's got some brushes. Wow. I'm a little bottle. Must, uh... I've read that it uh, takes oil, but basically I just wanted to show you how it came in the package. And now I'll read a little bit up on this thing, and then we'll talk about it some more. Well, my first impressions here, I didn't get much further, but uh, I thought this was going to be a manual that I could look at, and then I could uh, tell you guys what all to do. But you uh, open it up. And this thing says, manual application to the following items. Angle grinder, die grinder, blah, 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 blah. There's absolutely nothing specific in this little four-page instruction book. I guess it labels it right there. All kinds of power tools. <laughs> but yeah, that's about worthless. So basically, now I'm going to have to go do some research on the internet. And find out how I get oil in here. Because there is a sight glass there. And if there's one thing I know. Um, it would be that there's got to be some kind of fluid. That goes in there. Otherwise they wouldn't have a glass to check the level of it. So I'm going to do a little research on that. And see what I can find out. Well I figured out the oil. Um, I did a little research online and it sounds like they want you to use a 40 weight oil and there was none in here basically to uh, add oil I took this wrench that came with this and you turn this sight glass counterclockwise and she spins all the way out and there was no oil in it at all and then it comes with this little jug the jug had nothing in it I added woo, Rotella 1540 oil just because what like I said the manual listed nothing it gave you no information but online I found that most people are using 40 weight oil and as the thing ages they go up in weight all the way up to gear oil some people were saying but basically I filled this jug that came with it up to the top and then I pulled the sight glass out and I dumped the entire jug in. And whoa, I'll tip this bad boy up. And now you can see that's where it is on the sight glass. So that's about perfect. All right, next part of the video will be uh, me using this thing and seeing if it can bust some concrete up. That should be fun.
All right, now I use this jackhammer and I want to give a honest review on this thing and my impressions of it. Ah, it was working fantastic, busting through the concrete and working absolutely great. I loved it. I was ready to give uh, Sunshine and Roses a review of it, saying nothing but good things. And then a couple hours in, the trigger right here started acting up. Okay, if you look, you'll see there's a lot of play in that trigger. What would happen, and I know you can lock it like that, keep it on obviously, but what happened is it literally would not let you depress the trigger. Uh, you know, I'd squeeze and squeeze, you know, I'd fiddle with this and wiggle it around and it literally would not let you depress it. Right now it's, it's uh, working, but uh, doesn't everything when you're getting ready to send it back? <laughs> Amazon has uh, already got a new one in the mail for us, so we'll see how that one turns out. And their customer service is fantastic. You know, you just a couple clicks on the phone and you got a new one coming. And then we just got to drop this one off and send it back. So we're just hoping this is a fluke. That uh, the, hopefully the new one comes and we have no more issues and everything's great. Uh, but we literally bought this uh, for the short term. Uh, we were just literally hoping to finish our one project and then we really weren't going to have a use for it. We weren't sure if we were just going to jam this thing in the corner or put it on Craigslist and, you know, sell it for half the price or something. So we'll have to see what, uh, what happens with the new one and how it uh, operates and holds up. But uh, basically for my review, I almost have to say to be continued because the first one broke and I obviously can't... Uh, recommend off that you know to to go buy one but that could have been a fluke i don't think i was uh, mishandling it in any way shape or form because basically i was just holding it and squeezing the trigger you know <laughs> there's not much much you can do to to screw that up but uh when it works it worked fantastic but when it didn't work it shut us down and we lost half a day of uh Productivity that I could have been busting that concrete granted we had other projects to do but still that's beside the point if you didn't You'd be stuck sitting no matter how good the warranty is you're stuck sitting there without the tool that you need So I guess That's basically my review in a nutshell and I will when the new one comes I will use that it'll probably be a couple months because I'll be using it throughout the summer and I'll wait until I'm done using it so I can give a full honest review on how it held up and my opinion of it then so I will update this video after the summer's over and let you know how this turned out but so far this one broke first day of use so I guess that's that's the extent of what I can say. Alright, thanks for watching.